Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Well, I'm, you know, in my home. I, I went out for a little bit to get some fresh air, to, and, you know, I walked down to check my mail, get my mail, and uh, came back, and I've been doing some studying here in the scripture as well as online somebody has been making videos again uh, talking about me what gets me is this person that does all this talking they, they, that's all they do is talk they don't really research anything all they do is go on YouTube and try to say how, you know, what they think about me. But they actually don't do any research. There are s many different uh, symptoms to this um, COVID-19 or coronavirus that people have been experiencing uh, or re reporting that they've been experiencing you know not just fevers and uh, fatigue and aches and pains and and uh, having trouble breathing and you know like basically pneumonia type uh, symptoms but some also uh, stomach you know flu like symptoms as well and they might have the flu on top of this. Who knows? You know what's going on. But I mentioned about some ENT doctors been discovering that people that's been getting this have been also reporting that they've been losing their uh, sense of uh, um, smell and taste, which I haven't lost in myself sense of smell and taste. These other people have been reporting this. And it's on the news. If you would check the news online, you will see it's on there. That's where I get my information from. Uh, it was uh, reported on um, True News. And it's also reported on several other news um Articles like, for instance, here's um, on my computer right here, uh, the Daily Jeffersonian about this story right here. See, so it's right here that there are new symptoms of coronavirus. Doctors say uh, sudden loss of smell or taste. Now, why would a new legitimate newspaper company reports something that's not true. Back off on this here a little bit so you can see a little bit better here. This uh, story here. So why would they report this if it's not true? It's from USA Today on here. Excuse me. Let me get my camera. See, it's from USA Today. That's where they got that story. Like I said, it's also been on True News and some other uh, places online. I know what I'm talking about because I research things. I research things before I talk about it. I just don't talk about something and oops, you know, what I'm, I'm putting up, you know, something that's
something that you think I'm doing, which I'm not. Now, I wanted to stress to some scriptures here. I'm going to read to you. In uh, Romans 8, Romans 8, and we know all the things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose. Now I also want to go to um, Second Corinthians four. Second Corinthians four. And read here, starting with 8. We are hard pressed on every side, or in you know, those pressured, going through a lot of pressure, hard pressure, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always caring about the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, and the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death is working in us, but life in you. I also want to go here to um, 12. That's uh, 2 Corinthians 12, starting with 9. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather, rather boast in my infirmities than the uh, power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, therefore, which means listen, I take pleasure. In infirmities, in reproach, in needs, in uh, in uh, persecution, in distress of Christ, uh, for excuse me, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. You see, this uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus that was made by and put out by the Chinese uh, is not making us weak, it's making us strong. It's going to make us a strong nation. It's going to make us stronger in Christ Jesus. It's going to make us stronger human beings in the long run. We've been through a lot of sicknesses here in uh, many uh, years. I've had 
you know, not only the flu, I've had bronchial pneumonia, I've had pneumonia, I've, uh, you know, been through a lot of sickness, and Renee as well. But we come out through it all stronger than what we were before so that we can tell people that Christ Jesus is real. That my, you know, the Bible also says that it rains on the just and the unjust. In other words, it rains on the believer and the unbeliever. So, you know, take that and um, say what you want to say about it. It's the truth. I wouldn't be on here saying lies like some people, other people are. If I thought wholeheartedly that everything I believe in and everything I know is the truth was not the truth. I've been praying every single day and every single minute that uh, people will wake up because of this. See, this is one of God's wake-up calls for nations. Some are getting it, some are not. That's always the problem. Some will get it, and some will not get it. Because there are people that no matter what you throw at them, they're so hard-hearted and thick-skulled, they, they will never get it. God have mercy on your souls. God bless you. Have a blessed day.